Hey guys, it's Allie. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing awesome today. I am literally so excited for today's video. If you guys haven't read the title, uh, this is going to be my top CC or best CC finds for 2022. There's been some good ones for sure. I found so much good CC this year, but here are a few of my picks. I have I have a select few of um, picks for different types of CC. I pretty much did five for each, so like hair, tops, and bottoms. Basically, it's either going to be like my most reused cc that i use like all the time and be like it's a must or for example this hair i don't use it too often but like i would if i remembered it existed like i scroll past it so much <laughs> that i forget you know but that being said um i'm gonna put her in a different hair actually because we're gonna go ahead and get started with some skin details first because y'all know me i absolutely love my skin details to freaking death i swear so i actually do use a default skin if you're unaware of what default skins are they basically replace every single skin in the game like every single sim even the ones you don't play have the same skin um this is actually my skin or my default skin um i forget what it's called but i'll leave it down in the link below i think it's a lot better than like ea's typical like default skin but i'll link it down below and i'll actually i'll go ahead and take off all my makeup right now but can you see like it just looks a little bit different from you know regular ea kind of skin love it i'll definitely link it down below but as far as skin details go it's funny because one of my absolute favorite skin details i don't use it anymore um but it gives me like hella nostalgia and it's still a really good skin detail i'll have to use it some more but it's the uh folie a dough skin detail if i say that correctly i'm not french but i actually feel like if you're just now starting to download cc this is going to be a really good one um it does have a couple different like options i guess so like this is more of a basic one and then you got kind of like a more contoured um like tan one i guess and then this last one it's like that's interesting it's like i haven't seen this one actually ah. it's so funny it has like um your own highlight so if you don't want to install too much cc you kind of want like a two-in-one totally get this um folia dough skin blend it has a male version too of course for for you men for you men that's definitely the first um i guess skin overlay i would go ahead and, and pick up this year um my second one on the list would have to be honestly honestly it's gotta be ringo it's gotta be ringo i mean look at that look at this queen so this skin detail um i actually haven't looked it up the name of it yet but i'm just gonna say ringo but i'll have it listed down below um absolutely love it it's a little bit more like um less maxis match more leaning towards alpha but it's still maxis match it adds like that like 1% alpha touch that I really enjoy. Um, and the second version, okay. So in the first version, oh my gosh, it has eyelids. I actually did not even notice that till now. Wow. Uh, the more you know you've seen it here first guys this one has eyelids and this one doesn't also i'm so sorry guys i need to take off sister's big big ass eyelashes like what are you doing out here with all these lashes ma'am what you doing out here with all this ass double cheeked up on a thursday afternoon hella ass the sun is still out um third on the list would definitely have to be um i guess third and fourth but definitely would be um these two by the same creator we have I i'm assuming it's Privé? Privé? But I really like this. It's very gentle on the face. Um, No other like presets or anything down here, but this is actually one of my go-tos. I don't know why. Just love it. Love it. Um, And then we have Strudel right here, which is by the same creator. Similar to Ringo, but it's got more like of that depth and more of like a like a chiseled jawline i guess um instead of like you know how privé it's like she's got a little bit of rounder cheeks a softer face um strudel is gonna definitely add um more of that definition without being like all the way like ringo you know what i'm saying um so strudel does have three presets so this one has more of like that contour on the cheek um this one it does not um, and this one does add a little bit of softness as well, which is really great. Love that. I love the versatility in this one for sure. Okay. And the number five spot for skin overlays, um, definitely goes to Brighton Skin by Linky Sims. Um, I do still use this one occasionally. And the reason I actually put this here was because it was a skin I made, um, one of my favorite Sims with. And I just love the, I actually, I especially love the way the lips look. Also guys, Delaney's lips look like that because she has a crooked lip preset. That's why, if you're wondering, but Brighton Skin, it does 
actually seem to have quite a few presets so this one actually adds some some more under eye bags this one actually adds some freckles which i really enjoy so does this one this one and this one too so there you go again if you want like a two-in-one skin detail definitely pick up brighten skin it has some moles and some freckles if you're one that i'm gonna go ahead and put her back in probably privé just because i feel like that suits her a little more so now for overall like general skin details i think my number one spot for that would definitely have to be it's got to be these um hair lines from real sims which i'm gonna go ahead and take her hair off but this is what they look like these hairlines just really add something else and there's so many colors love it and the reason i got hairlines in the first place was because i started like downloading hair and seeing that there would be like like patches or splotches like in some of the cc hair that i downloaded no offense to the creator i just wanted like some more coverage on the head these are going to add um a little bit more depth um to your sims hair in general which love it love it i don't i'm not feeling this i'm not feeling this delaney girl come on number four on the spot definitely got to be these eyelashes um by i think it says dream girl but number three is actually going to be um these kajigo eyelashes too um so for the dream girl eyelashes i love these and I think you will also love these if you're um, more of a big lash gal and your computer can obviously, you know, handle something like that. But for number three spot, definitely pick up these Kajiko eyelashes. Um, they're kind of fucking up right now. <laughs> sorry. They're kind of messing up because I have um, like rings on and shit. I actually, sorry, I'm cussing. I'm not being good. But anyways, these come in three little packs. I guess it has um, the black eyelashes. These are, I guess these would be the shorter slash medium ones. She has some like brown ones and then these are just bottom lashes which i think is really really cool and interesting i love that um and then there's like the bigger ones here i guess um which these don't have bottom lashes lashes which i actually quite like the way that looks um and then these are more like your smaller lashes for like your sims that don't really like like to wear mascara stuff like that or you know some people just have short eyelashes and they don't wear makeup or anything and that's fine so i really like um these three i love this one by dream girl but these three ones by kajiko i feel like are more suitable for like your mild cc players and not like you know somebody like me who downloads like 50 megabytes like every two weeks all right number two on the list of skin details absolutely goes to these face kits by um, Pixis. A lot of different options to choose from can really add some depth to your Sims face. So, you know, as you can see, it's giving, it's giving nose. It's giving nose. Like if we go down here, there's a lot more different options too. Like even with the lips, like lip overlays and shit like that. Love it. Love it so much. All right. And number one on the list, which I actually recently downloaded is this vitiligo skin detail. Freaking love it. So detailed. And it literally looks so natural. It's insane. Like if you want your Sim who has vitiligo to have like something really um drastic in the in the different colors um you can do this one or if you go down here it's kind of more like you can't really tell you know what i'm saying which i really appreciate um the creator of this doing that um because like see i even have like this one right here and i can't even tell like what's going on where's the vitiligo who knows that's gonna be it for me for skin details for now um i did want to go into tattoos real quick because um i'm not gonna say any i'm not gonna list you know like top five tattoos but i did want to show you guys um vitiligo is here as well but now let's go ahead and jump into um accessory so i actually did not like pre put these on which was my bad um but i think my top pair of earrings in the sims 4 like cc has got to be these by praline these hoops it comes in a set of three and so you got i like i like gold hoops but it has so many different colors this is the smallest one and then you can go to the medium and then you can go all the way to the large which i absolutely love these are some of my favorites we know hoops super versatile love them so that's going to be probably my earring pick for other piercings i absolutely i totally forget who this is by i'd actually have to check aretha okay so Aretha actually recently just made um, this adorable nose septum, which I hate the septums that come with The Sims 4 because they're just too big and bulky. So this is going to be probably my second pick for um, other piercings. Absolutely love this thing. It's so cute and it really fits Delaney like super well. For glasses, I'm going to have to go with these right here by Praline Sims. Love them. Um, and the reason being that they can be sunglasses and they can also be just like regular glasses, which I really enjoy 
love the versatility here. Also, they just give me beach vibes. They really do. I'm actually not going to go with necklaces this time around just because I don't really wear necklaces on my sins a lot. But I am going to do scarves because I love scarves and I think we need more scarves. This is actually um two scarves made by Clumsy Alien. Freaking love it. I love something about outerwear in The Sims 4 and making outerwear outfits. Ugh, love it. I mean, can you tell? Can you tell? <laughs> but I really love this one. It looks super cozy, super nice. A bunch of different swatches here. Very good for autumn. And they actually have this open one too, which is same color, same concept. It's just um, a little more open, a little more open. Okay. And my last accessory, I guess the number one spot, I guess. <laughs> Is, so technically this could be a hat but it is an accessory so i'm gonna say it's an accessory but it's these earmuffs by knitted or it might be by somebody else and it just says knitted i don't know i might be stupid but i freaking love these because i love like i said i love cold weather and i love dressing up my sims for cold weather and this is just perfect and it has like like um winterfest or christmas theme um here you got it like a snowflake another snowflake oh, i just love it it's so perfect and i love this pink swatch too it's everything put your sims in and cuter outerwear 2022 it's a movement come on girl honorable mention eyebrows literally i downloaded this entire pack <laughs> of eyebrows from praline sims gotta love this creator awesome stuff this is where i literally all of my eyebrows i swear i haven't downloaded eyebrows in like a year since i've downloaded all these but um i really like them Sometimes, you know, they'll come in a white, just no. Unless your sim has white hair, it's fine. But like just a lot of different ones to choose from. Some of them can be um a little oh, these are sparkly. Hey. Some of these can be a little um too alpha. I personally don't mind, but if you are like a hell, like straight edge Max's match girly, like you're probably not gonna like these. I mean you might, you never know. I'm still gonna list them down below anyway, but I love these. Like it even comes with like shaved ones. Like love it, love it. But for today, I'm going to give Delaney the twenty six instagram baddie eyebrows how about that all right and before we go to hair let's go ahead and jump into makeup so i actually use a lot of like ea's makeup i'm not really like i'm not gonna talk about you know my eyeliner my eyeshadows and stuff like that because i just don't i don't know i just don't use them as much i will say that i i really have um or have a blush that i really like by msq sims and it's this one right here love it because it adds it also adds a highlighter and like i love red cheeks on sims like they're so cute um definitely love this it also has um, an option that does not have highlighter if you're into that or not into that. Absolutely love this one. Love how it goes on the cheeks too. I love this watch. So adorable. Um, and then I guess um, my last part of makeup. Um, so I'm a sucker. <laughs> I'm a sucker for lip gloss in The Sims and these glosses, um, Kakao? Coco Coco Gloss by um, Urban Sims. Love it. Love it. Like, look how just look how good that looks. So stunning. Absolutely love. And then this Honey Gloss by Urban, which is kind of more recent that she came out with, which is also amazing. Like, I love how it just it looks like it just glides on the Sims lips. Absolutely perfect. Love these glosses to freaking death. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into hair. So this is our first hair out of five today. This is called the Anna Hair by OK Roo. Love it. Love the strands. I'm a strand girl okay um but here's some different swatches here it is an updated hair so it does have um all of these hairs I'm, I'm pretty sure um have the the recent i guess ish um hair color swatch update so really really nice love me some okay rue these are all pretty much like one hair from all of my favorite creators that i really enjoy like if i had to pick one hair from them but yeah absolutely love this one perfect for your cottage core girlies but let's go ahead and jump to number two i literally shit you not <laughs> Oh my god, I just found out. This hair is called the Delaney hair by Sim Celebrity. How freaking sick is that? I love Sim Celebrity. She makes, obviously, as you can tell, some really good stuff. I love all her hairs. I especially love this one. Uh, that's not the point. If you want to know what this one is, let me know. Um, but this, of course, is called the Delaney hair, and it comes in two versions. Um, let me put her in the true black swatch. So in this version, there's actually like some darker roots which is really cool and it's really i love it because like if you have like blonde sims for example you can make it realistic like in the game by having them have like darker roots that come in like not all blondes have like have it all the way in their scalp honey some blondes they're gonna have roots and that's okay that's part of life you know what i'm saying so i really really love this hair it's super cool looks absolutely amazing in all of the swatches like i am i'm in love this is definitely um, my fourth pick 
for 2022. This is the Marie Hair by A. Harris Double O Brittany. Not gonna, I don't actually know their real name. Um, my bad. But I love this hair. And the reason I put this at the number three spot was because I feel like it's um we all need, we all need a bun hairstyle, right? And this has got to be like my favorite bun hairstyle. Definitely feel like it's good for everyday wear, or sometimes I'll even put her um Delaney in this for sleepwear, just because you know, some Sims put their hair up at night and that's fine. Um, it actually comes with this next to it um which i love and i love like the the hair tie detail right there super cool but this is the start of the show we love her we love a good bun um here it comes in some different colors i actually have a hard time finding like buns that i really like so if you guys know of any um that you really like as well definitely let me know i love some i love some good buns <laughs> next on our list is the beady hairstyle by sims trouble now i freaking love sims trouble and i had a really hard time trying to find um just one hair to pick from their like entire Entire collection because I just love it all but if I if I really had to choose I really love this one I love how classy it looks um I love the length I've been you know wanting to get like longer hair for my sims but I really love this um it really gives me like major my wedding stories vibes tartosa vibes you feel me so definitely pick this one up if you have the chance I'm pretty sure there's a decluttered version as well which takes away um all the extra strands if you're not really big into that but here it is in a couple of swatches absolutely gorgeous i love how all of the colors look in this like especially the blonde like what that is absolutely amazing because with like the darker shade you can't really see like the detailing here but oh my god how absolutely stunning is that all right guys last but not least this is the luna hairstyle by miko freaking love it and i'm gonna be real with you it might be at my number one because it's just literally so adorable love the space buns love the detail this could be really good i mean even just regular for your sims but this could be really good for like party wear or maybe if your sims like go to coachella or like a music festival or just a night out in general i feel like this hairstyle would just work really well and it has all of the ea colors plus actually some pinks and uh, a light purple and like a bright white which i absolutely love yeah it's actually it's funny it's actually like whiter than the whitest white in the sims 4 which is oh that's interesting um but here are some of the different swatches for it absolutely love it love it in the blonde super cute but i feel like this would really go well with like those brighter colors too all right guys so i actually have five more hairstyles for you and then we're going to move on to tops um but this is actually my textured hairstyles that i picked out my top five for 2022 i kid you not this came out literally just like three days ago and i'm already in love it's really hard for me to find um textured hairs that i like and i'm not sure why i think it's because um when textured hairs first started coming to the sims 4 um ea just they didn't really do a good job with it i'm gonna be honest um i expected more um but now that like i don't know it's just like cc creators are just so much better at making textured hair than you know ea absolutely love this one though just came out and i love how it has like baby hairs with it um let's go ahead and go through the different swatches so pretty so gorgeous those baby hairs though that i really enjoy that i really do and also um i'm pretty sure you can get an overlay like to change the color of the hair tie i didn't because i'm i'm lazy but next one on list for textured hairs is this hair by Kamiri. It's actually called the Gaia hair and I did put it in the textured section just because um, I am familiar with the different types of um, curls and textures like 3C, 3B, 3A. So I decided to put this here for the girlies who have similar hair to this in case you know you wanted to make your sims self or something um but i really really love this just a cute little short do i love the curls that come out in front of it the makeshift bangs it's a vibe it's a vibe and she looks absolutely gorgeous with this as well uh similar to one of those other hairs that we had this has two extra swatches which is really interesting i'm vibing with it but here it is in some brown and then some colors some bright colors as well love it so much this next hair is by green llamas and it is called the bianca hair absolutely in love with this as well i love the braids super well done i mean look at that detail like that is so crazy i love again once again love the baby hairs so i don't go to put it on with you know an extra skin detail so that's really gorgeous i love that here's some browns some blondes and some 
funky colors as well absolutely love this one next on the list are the base of braids by shea butter previously known as savvy sweet which i actually just found out that savvy sweet is now shea butter so if you didn't know you know already love this shortcut so freaking much it's amazing also got hella swatches here i was really wanting some textured styles that were also short because only the only ones i could really find were like things that were up like this or really long ones so i'm really glad that i was able to find such a shortcut love all the swatches of course super beautiful last but not least on my textured hair list is the amara braid by ice cream for breakfast this is actually the version two of it apparently which i didn't know there was a shorter version where it, where like the ponytail was shorter but i just oh i love it it's so classy gorgeous amazing beautiful i love how the hair tie colors like go with the hair color because it gives me like sleek pulled back like ponytail vibes but with with the braid of course like this is so gorgeous has to be my favorite textured hair that i have right now but if you have any that i haven't showcased let me know down below i need some more textured hairs like so bad moving on to one of my favorite parts which is tops of course then we're gonna go into bottoms full body outfits and then shoes so to start off um my first of five tops actually um is this turtleneck by aretha here absolutely love it it came in a set so i will link this set down below but look at all these amazing swatches the reason i put this here it's it's just like it's a classic basic you know what i'm saying like everybody's got you know at least almost everybody i'm, I'm assuming has one of those tight turtlenecks that you can tuck into your jeans for like a cool like fall or autumn or winter day and it's a look it really is and i really like this it's a classic basic a classic staple second pick has got to be this shirt from clumsy alien i don't know what it is about it but as soon as it came out i was like obsessed and it's giving me major like going on vacation going to salani vibes like put your put your mom sim in this put your mom sim in this and she will literally look like a mom like a stereotypical mom going to going on vacation i'm serious i love this so much so many gorgeous swatches here's some solids as well like this is giving me major mom vibes and i'm here for it this is one of my favorite shirts of all time all right and number three it's gotta be this oversized tee from trilla key i am snoop dog guys i am the reincarnation but we all need a good oversized tee i love the swatches here she has some striped ones but i usually just go with like the basic like one color swatches the solid swatches just because it's more realistic i feel we all kind of have that one white t-shirt you know what i'm saying that we wear to bed or it's a basic and we go out whenever we need to go to the store and we don't know what to throw on so we just throw on a basic white tee all right and at number four i guess or number or number two this is the minju jacket by nugook which I'm so tempted to say nugget, but I will not. Like I said, classic staple hoodie. We all wear hoodies, okay? If you don't, where are you at? I love all the swatches though. These are pretty much just basic. Like I like the gray hoodie too. I feel like we all might have a gray hoodie. Um, It's got a couple like patterns on it, but really it's mostly solid. Um, But like I said, everybody has, at least everybody I know has a hoodie in their closet. You know what I'm saying? So if your Sims wanna go to like the grocery store or something and have nothing to wear, just throw on a hoodie. You're Gucci. Spot number five. This is a new one for me. I just recently downloaded it, but I, f I found myself using it on a lot of my Sims because it's just just plain gorgeous um but this is a top by cuba sims cute little summer top i've had like a, a quite a few bit of long sleeves here so i thought i would offer a tank top of some sort but this is giving me major y2k vibes already used it so much already love it absolutely so much i love the swatches too the colors if you're into pastel shit this is gonna be for you all right guys moving on to bottoms i kind of wanted to add a little bit of variety into this so some shorts some jeans some leggings whatever joggers or whatnot these shorts these are actually from clumsy alien as well gotta love them i don't know why i just really like this baggy look i guess when it comes to like literally everything my sims wear like i'm not even kidding but i love these they're super versatile um lots of different swatches i really like the khaki swatch they have like a dark green this really gives this also gives me cottagecore vibes and this also gives me i don't know why but like 
glimmer book vibes like with the the magic pack I, f I already forgot the name of it but it just gives me like earthy like take your sims out into the woods and go on a hike kind of vibes you know at number two also by clumsy alien we got some ripped jeans here with some cuffs down here at the bottom i really like these two super versatile everybody i'm pretty sure everybody has one of these in their closets but they have um quite a few blue swatches but there's also like there's a green orange red yellow even like a light dusty like pink or tan which i really enjoy um i'm pretty i think this goes with everything like i've tried it and i'm pretty sure it literally goes with everything we got some skinnies y'all for number three but i okay everybody needs a pair of skinnies a pair of like baggy mom jeans and then a pair of like leggings or joggers in their in their closet i swear but these jeans are actually sorry these are by taj siwal i think is what their name is um i'm literally telling you right now i have not looked <laughs> at these names yet so i'm scared once i like actually look them up but i really like these there's a khaki version as well which i actually also really like these i don't often use the khaki swatch but i feel like it looks really good but there's some black and it actually you have an option to have a belt with that swatch or not so you see i just took off the belt and there's like a button and everything which i think is really cool i really like how the creator did this these are kind of some old jeans but they they work they work number four on the list has got to be these trilogy pants i don't even know if they're jeans to be honest but they have like their flare pants basically and they have like so many swatches but then in some of the swatches you get like patterns on the bottom and i literally i love it i it's so unique i have yet to find sims 4 pants that look like this where it's like jean like flare jeans and then just design on the bottom i think it's really cool really unique love it love all the swatches a good job trilogy all right and number five on the list are these joggers by disia and the reason that they i put them like i was like the last slash first option here is because i use these all the time for both sleepwear and athletic wear and sometimes outerwear and i just feel like all of your sims kind of need like a good jogger you know what i'm saying like a good jogger to work out in or to sleep in so this is going to be the last one the last pick for my bottoms i really love these use them all the time definitely pick them up all right let's go ahead and move to full body guys then we'll go to shoes and then we'll be done so number one for full body <sighs> Of course, Madeline. Madeline just dropped this piece, and oh my god, this is one of the most gorgeous dresses I've ever seen as CC on a sim. And like, she's just bearing it all. Like, girl, I ain't wearing no undies. I mean, it's fine, I guess. But I love this so much. Already, my top pick for 2022. So freaking gorgeous. Actually, I was not. I was about to not show you the swatches. We got kind of like a nudie, like tan. The red, I love. Oh, I love it. I love the pink, and then we kind of got some like dark browns and stuff like that love it so good all right this next pick is also by madeline and it's like like i said when i was doing this i was like what would what's a basic right and i just saw this like full body outfit for madeline and i was like yes like tell me you wouldn't wear this tell me like if you were of of course minus the shoe <laughs> but like if you were just going to the store wouldn't you throw on just like like shorts and a shirt and then just like a big like oversized like men's dress shirt on it i'm telling you this is top tier content madeline thank you very much for this thank you link link in the description for the next pick is this overall kind of set by jenny sim this is a little tiny tad bit alpha so if you're not into alpha totally disregard this but i don't mind a little bit of max's mi mix in my vicinity okay Okay, so I really love this. I love all the swatches. So you got like your basic kind of swatches and then of course like your crazy like batshit ones, you know? But when I picked this up, I really thought of this being like a good fall or wintertime outfit for sure. This is a staple. I really love it. It's gorgeous. Next to last on the list, who else could it be? But Madeline picked up this super cute like fall time slash christmas time like outfit and i think this is just adorable because i feel like it's a staple for like winterfest in your sims households but it's just gorgeous like i love the idea here um to kind of make like a full body outfit with a scarf like it's gorgeous i love it i love the color scheme i love like how it kind of goes with you know the holidays and stuff like that absolutely love this one last but not least oh my god this dress by jolly bean is a work of art this also just came out and i cannot believe what my eyes were seeing like what was before me it did not exist like wow just absolutely wow i love this dress like look at the thumbnail i love the swatches like 
amazing like oh my god this green i love this color green and to have it like like this stunning absolutely stunning okay last but not least guys um we're gonna go ahead and do some shoes and then wrap things up so my first pick for shoes today who other than madeline of course um i really love these i feel like every sim needs like a good like boot um especially for outerwear i love all the swatches here i normally stick to like the brown and the black but i'm definitely sure you can use these like i love the red that's cute but like i said i feel like all sims kind of need like a boot like this second are these sandals by gius i think is how they pronounce it really love these i feel like all sims do need a good sandal and there are some good sandals without cc like in the base game and whatnot but i feel like there's not enough if that makes sense so a lot of different swatches here again i stick to like brown or black typically sometimes even white but if you want blue sandals you got blue like that's what i like about this so many swatches so it's really versatile number three i use these shoes literally all the damn time these are some sneakers by tuna yege i think tuna yege i don't know um but i really oh my gosh i love these put some socks with it chef's kiss perfect a1 um i love the black swatch i love the white swatch and i love how the whites so like there's a true white swatch right but i actually prefer like this off-white because it just looks better and it looks more realistic like none of us have like crazy white shoes unless you just bought them and then i like literally three months later it'll have dirt on it like i promise you but i love these super versatile i use them for literally everything i'm not even joking number four on the spot man it's gotta be these ones from madeline to a little bit of um outfit ish so disclaimer but i love these only comes in three swatches but they all like they all somehow work and they all work for literally every single outfit i really love the brown especially i think the, these just remind me because i grew up in the south and so i saw stuff like this a lot so these really remind me of that if that makes sense um but i love these really good for outerwear for sure last but not least of course madeline the the shoe deity the shoe deity i swear um are these pumps i guess or heels whatever um but i really like these these are the reason i picked these just perfect staple for everything everyday wear um party wear formal wear anything really i feel like heels are just very versatile in general um you can pretty much wear them whenever and i love the classic look of this i love the like it looks like a red underbelly um it has a true black swatch it has also a blue a red and kind of like a pinky purple which uh, I love it so freaking much. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know if you guys found anything and if you downloaded anything and how it looks. Uh, definitely want to see how that works out for y'all. And if y'all have any CC that I should download or you think I should download, definitely let me know um, and I will have to check it out. But that's going to be it from me today, guys. I hope you have a great one. Bye.